Hey Gemini, welcome to your February 2018 Who's My Future Partner reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you and a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in today. So by popular demand, I've had a lot of requests to do this type of reading. Uh, so I figured why not? Let's give it a shot. I will still more than likely offer the love relationship readings for February, but they will be Mm, I haven't quite decided. They may be over on Vimeo, uh, so I appreciate your uh, support over there. So for a small fee, you can watch those readings as well. Uh, all the readings I do uh, offer here on YouTube are free, so um, any contribution is greatly appreciated. And I will probably go into a little bit more of a, a deeper reading on uh, the love relationships um, for the month as well as because it is Valentine's month as well. Everybody wants to know about love um, as well as my general tower readings, of course, will continue to be offered on this channel as well. All right, so I'm getting to know the spread, but it's been really working kind of well. I just did Aries and Taurus. So let's take a look, Gemini, and see what we have coming in for you. So the very first card is what will this person be like? Oh, and you receive the Nine of Cups. So I feel this would be a water sign, possibly Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person uh, that might come into your life. This is somebody that mm, you may feel is like your wish come true. Uh, you've been trying to meet a person like this. Um, this uh, person may give you the impression that they're just happy. You know, this could be just a spiritually happy, content kind of person. Mm, could be could be a little overweight as well. Just throwing that out there because the Nine of Cups can represent somebody that does overindulge or overeat. Um, so just putting that out there for some of you. Mm, also the Lady Luck card, you know. So whoever this person is coming in, you're going to feel um, that this is somebody that you've been waiting to meet kind of thing, right? The second card here is how will you meet? And you receive the two of pentacles. Hmm. Uh, it's a pentacles card. I feel like you're going to be juggling a lot. You're going to be super busy. But because it is a pentacles card, I would say that you more than likely would meet this person at work, um, somehow in your career. Because mm. you're going to be busy. This is a tangible, you know, you're juggling money here. You're uh, super busy at work. You might have a lot going on and not maybe mm, expecting to meet anybody. So that's kind of cool. All right, the third card. What is your first impression of them? Ooh, the Empress. Very nice. Okay, so for you male... Um, Gemini's, this is going to be like, you might feel this is the ultimate woman here, okay? Now, most of these readings aren't gender specific when I do general readings, so it really, honestly, can go either way. But this is somebody that mm, really has an abundant um, feminine quality or energy about them. This is somebody that's very successful. This is a person that might... Um, be, let's see, like sharing her gifts with the world, you know, a very creative, a very abundant, creative person, okay? Um, a very responsible person who's working on her projects. And she may even like ins be inspiring you, okay? This woman could also maybe be pregnant for some of you. That's possibly you're going to meet somebody that's pregnant. Or a mother. Okay. Interesting. Okay, the fourth card is how will they affect you? Ooh, you have the high priestess. So you're going to see this person as a very intuitive, connected person, very mysterious. You may feel like this person could be really secretive as well and and that she really kind of just sticks to herself, um, maybe not real social, 
she plays her cards really close to her chest. She may not be showing her feelings, okay? And that is possible because we do have a lot of water element here. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this could be a water sign person, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. So that would make sense. Um, very observant person, though. This is a person that goes inside, uh, goes within for their answers, uh, which can be unnerving for somebody that might be, you know, if you're romantically interested in this person and want to get to know this person, this can, yeah, this could be, this could feel a little daunting. Uh, maybe you might even feel a little intimidated by this person because, you know, we have the Empress and the Hierophant here. You know, so maybe this is somebody that maybe you wouldn't necessarily go after, but you can't help yourself. You're really attracted to this person. You know, you're really fascinated. Like, wow, who is this person? You know, they're so happy. They have it all together. Mm. You could even meet them in a new business scenario as well, because Empress sometimes talks about giving birth to something like a new idea. And if you meet this person in the workplace, maybe, you know, it's unexpected. You're, you know, juggling, may, well, juggling finances or maybe juggling a small business or something like that um, for some of you. Okay. Uh, the fifth card. Hmm. What kind of relationship will this be? Ooh. Wow. King of Swords. Interesting. Hmm. Um, I, yeah, I feel like this is not necessarily going to be what you expect. The King of Swords is a air sign, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person. Uh, but the elements of this card is... Mm, you're going to feel detached. And I think I mentioned that, like, even though this is a super interesting person, I think because of maybe this secretive nature, it's going to be more of an intellectual uh, relationship. Maybe you'd want more of the emotional side um, because I think she still may be, or he may be um, standing more in a independent kind of way maybe not necessarily looking for a relationship, like in the sense that you are. Let's see what else is coming through. It's kind of cold, you know, like I feel when I see this card, I feel like I don't think it's going to go the way that you want. Although, um... In some way, I feel that you will have the opportunity to speak your truth, like tell this person how you really feel, which is kind of cool. But let's see what the obstacle is. Ah, six of cups. Interesting. So this is, this is not a soulmate person for you. Okay. Six of cups is about good relationships, uh, is this person a good match for me? Mm. You know what I'm hearing for some of you, this could be somebody coming back around again. And you're considering the relationship, but this is not a soulmate. It is in the obstacle position. Mm. Yeah, just, just being real honest with you here. I don't feel it's a good match based on the other cards here. Let's see what the final outcome card is, and then we'll take a look. Ah, here I go. I was right. Look at that. The Three of Swords. You're going to be heartbroken by this person. It's not going to work out. There may even be a third party a person involved here. Mm. Not for you, Gemini. Not for you. Okay. Uh, but good to know up front. That's what's coming through the cards. I'm just reading the cards. Okay, this may not resonate with everybody, so make sure you check out your moon and or rising sign. Okay. 
Three of Swords, yeah, this is just sadness. And obviously you're going to be, you know, disappointed um, that this person, um, you know, may not just be into you as much as you're into them. Okay, and that's that's just the way it goes sometimes. That's life, you know, so you move on to the, to the next person. Um, just looking at the other cards here, see if there's anything else coming through. Mm. Yeah, um, that's really it. I want to keep these readings kind of short. I apologize. So, you know, you could also be learning the truth. Hmm. You know, because, you know, you have the King of Swords here. You know, this person could have, be in another relationship, okay? If they're being secretive, okay, there's something going on behind the scenes. So don't put all your eggs in one basket, Gemini, okay? Keep your options open. That's what I say. <laughs> all right? So I hope this reading... Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I want to keep these kind of short and sweet so I can, you know, deliver more content for you guys and uh, more on a weekly basis and create more of a community here on YouTube. I really appreciate all the love and the support. You guys are awesome. I'm sorry it's not the best reading. Uh, again, check out your moon and our rising sign. Appreciate all the love and the support. Okay, subscribe button down here and we will see you soon. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.